Hi everyone, welcome to my next episode. My name is Michelin Network from the Zelfmets channel. And in this today's video, I'm going to talk about the Layer 2 blockchain, which problems it solves. And plus, I reveal you a project that is nearly launching its Layer 2 blockchain solution. And in my opinion, it's an absolute underrated project that you definitely should do your deep research on. But I always say, this video is only for educational purposes and I do not recommend any projects. Invest wisely and do always your own research. Invest only the money that you really can afford to lose. With the rising demand of crypto and blockchain, the chains were not prepared to execute a high volume of transactions. One of these projects was Ethereum that suffered high congestion and high transaction fees. At the time, around 2020, 2021 and 2022, projects like Solana, Polygon, BNB and Avalanche offered a smart chain solution in order to avoid high gas fees on the Ethereum network. That worked well for a good amount of time, but the blockchain industry moved on and was preparing for the next generation, the next level chains. To be precise, the Layer 2 blockchain technology. The most blockchain projects right now offer a Layer 1 solution, except projects with sidechains like Polygon, Arbitrum and a few others that act like a semi-Layer 2 project. But what exactly is a sidechain? A sidechain is an independent blockchain linked to another main Layer 1 blockchain. Sidechains usually have their own set of rules, rely in part of their own security, yet in some way anchored to the security of the main chain. The two blockchain must communicate. On the 15th of September 2022, the Ethereum mainnet completed its transition from the proof of work consensus mechanism to proof of stake. Dubbed the merge, the transformation of Ethereum from the proof of work to proof of stake consensus layer was a highly anticipated event. The transformation has positively affected the price of various Ethereum based layer 2 projects. Ethereum layer 2 protocols are solutions designed to solve the scalability issues related to the main Ethereum based blockchain. Layer 2 is attached to the Ethereum layer 1 blockchain chain, which enables it to perform blockchain operations and report them to the main chain. You can think of these Ethereum layer 2 solutions as roads leading to the main Ethereum highway. When the Ethereum network gets congested due to high traffic, layer 2 helps by offloading the traffic to the roads. Ultimately, the congestion is reduced. So which problems does the layer 2 technology solve? And why do we need layer 2? A layer 2 solution is a protocol and network that is integrated with the layer 1, specifically designed for offloading certain activity to an off-chain system useful for scaling. Layer 2 can help layer 1 by handling transactions off-chain. The beauty of layer 2 is that its activity inherits layer 1 security even through the activity occurs elsewhere. Layer 2 scaling has the least trade-offs which can make blockchain tech mass adoptable. Here are the types of layer 2 protocols. In the last two of three years, various Ethereum layer 2 solutions have emerged. State channels, plasma and rollups are some of the well-known techniques. Each of these has its advantages and limitation. Following is a brief overview. We have for instance monolithic chains. They have lack of security and decentralization. Monolithic proof of stake chains like Solana may handle higher volumes and run fast and cheap, but they trade off proven decentralization and security. The result? mass exploit and chain halted lots of times. Then we have modular chains. A modular chain separates the concerns into layer that work together to provide scalability while preserving decentralization and security. It is consensus layer, data layer and execution layer. Layer 2 solutions for computation, CK and optimistic rollups. Simply put, rollups consolidate many computations for transactions into a single proof of statement of accounts which then publish to another ledger usually the layer 1 in a single compromised transaction. Rollups involve regular smart contracts on a mainnet designed to serve as a relay between the main chain and a layer 2 protocol with nodes serving specific roles. The interoperability between layer 1 and layer 2 has the effect of reducing congestion on the layer 1 which help to keep fees low and improves performance while also enabling the layer 1 to provide security for a much larger body of activity. To oversimplify, it's kind of like lightning networks but for smart contracts and it is probably more secure. So now I will reveal you the crypto project that has in my eyes the biggest potential to grow 10x easily. So let's see which project this is. And the project is called Syscoin. Syscoin is a secure focused blockchain with a modular design that provides finality, data availability and is ready to solve the blockchain trilemma through a layer 2 solution. Syscoin is a proof of work project and provides merged mining, which gives you the opportunity to mine Bitcoin and Syscoin at the same time. The project was founded back in 2014 and it evolved massively in the last years. Their biggest milestone was to launch their NEVM, the Network Enhanced Virtual Machine. The Syscoin NEVM is designed to provide smart contracts and interoperability that can scale to smart cities and beyond, while remaining low cost and performant, and providing robust decentralized settlements that are secured by Bitcoin's own proof-of-work security model, 
via merged mining. With the NEVM, Syscoin will essentially combine the strongest elements of Bitcoin, the security model, merged mine hash rate potential, UTXO efficiency and compatibility with future UXTO advancements. And now Syscoin is about to reach its next milestone and it will be its layer 2 blockchain. Fresh on the heels of Syscoin becoming the first full stack blockchain with a layer 1 data availability solution, PODA. Its long awaited layer 2 named Rolox, a product of Syslabs, entered its final test on Monday. Rolox represents the only rollout built on Bitcoin's proof of work security with the flexibility of Ethereum smart contracts. And all of these efficiencies inherit from Syscoin like far lower transaction fees, PODA for scalability or the additional security gain from its mass node network. What if I told you there is a rollup technology that leverages Bitcoin proof of work, making it even more powerful and cost effective than Ethereum's proof of stake? Welcome to Rollox. The question is, why is Syscoin Layer 2 the most secure and robust blockchain in my eyes? Easily, they have to superior security. Rollox benefits from the proven security of Bitcoin's proof of work consensus mechanism ensuring robust and reliable transactions. Ethereum proof of stake, on the other hand, is still being tested and refined. It has a greater decentralization. Syscoin's master network offers built-in protections from MEV and 51% attacks, resulting in a more decentralized and resilient ecosystem. It has a higher throughput. Rollox on Syscoin Layer 2, when combined with its Layer 1 data availability solution, PODA, offers impressive throughput that can handle real-world demand. Ethereum's proof-of-stake based rollups may not be able to compete. You think Ethereum's proto sharding is the Nonplus Ultra? Try PODA for lower cost, no data sharding, higher throughput, and Bitcoin's proof of work and Syscoin decentralized multi quorum finality. In my opinion, proof of data availability is the superior choice for projects prioritizing scalability, security, and affordability. And we have cheaper transactions. Running on Syscoin instead of Ethereum means much lower transaction fees, making it perfect for projects on a budget or those subsidizing user activity. Syscoin is mass adoption ready. Rolox raises capacity high enough to pave the way for mass adoption, whereas Ethereum's approach does not raise the ceiling high enough, proverbially kicking the can down the road. Optimistic now, CK later. Rollup's first implementation is optimistic, but is built to add CK rollups once the technology matures. Both rollup types benefit from PODA. Let's check out the price of Syscoin. My analysis. As you can see, Syscoin got three spikes, one in 2018 and the other two in 2021, which rose up to one US dollar per Syscoin. Now we have a price around 16.5 cents. But now it's a different time and Syscoin has definitely an advantage over his competitors technically speaking. Syscoin has potential for three reasons. First, Syscoin solves the blockchain trilemma with the decentralization, security and speed, which most of the top blockchain don't. Secondly, the market cap is really low compared to Solana, Avalanche and Polygon. There is definitely room to grow. Third, each time Syscoin announces big changes, the price spikes. For instance, in 2021 when they announced the NEVM smart contract platform. Now the question is, can Syscoin reach again the one US dollar mark and beyond? My simple answer is yes. Syscoin has all the tools to reach 1 US dollars and beyond. Once they release the layer 2 solution, I'm pretty sure that Sys will gain some traction and hopefully more market capitalization. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Syscoin, smash the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. And my question to you is, which is your opinion on the Syscoin project? Is it legit or not? Let me know in the comment section. And again, thanks for watching this video. We see us very, very soon. Best your Network here from the Selfmates channel.